Yeah, man, well, I don't know it's unlimited. It's a brand new show. It's a brand new day. I just want to invite all on to the brand new unlimited podcast. It's a new episode. We want to large up the Museum of Belize for hosting this one there. So, likewise, we'd like to large up Sangria Mia and I love grazing boards. You see how it look front, yeah? Is it me? Now, with that said, I'm honored to be here, you know, with the interview, somebody with a no stranger to the media. You know, she come from behind St. Martin's. I must put that out the phone up. You understand? Because I go find it out. As I mean, she's been around the world representing Belize. She come back here, so now she work with the youths and for the youths. So ladies and gentlemen, help me introduce Dominique Norales. Hi, Unlimited. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's an honor to be here. You know, we do the pre-interview and thing I want to talk about. Yo, nothing like the real thing. You see me? So, we are also with Sangria Mia, darling. Um, I could get a cup there, I could pour the drink. Make a, make the drink, drink is a necessary part of the yeah, process. <laughs> we want to lip, yeah, just a little bit loose. Leave it loose? Yeah, not just a little bit loose, then. not too much. But you know, no, 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 we can't do too much. much. Yeah, Dominique, so while with the large up sangria, that's why I make everybody know that we are the, we get blessed. We are the first one to taste the tropical passion. Darling, I want me to be real and we could take a cheers to the whole thing. <laughs> yes, Dominique, so. Make we start from the very beginning now. You know what your born, up your grow, how it all gets started, your mother's name, some of the schools then we are gone to. Enlighten me. Um, well I that true, true mm -hmm. St. Martins, right? Yeah, I grew up yeah. back a complex all my life. In fact, I think my granny tell me how fun I one month old we live back a complex. Wow. Um I gonna St. Martin's, what is now St. Martin's preschool. Mm -hmm. I gonna St. Martin's primary school. I baptized, confirmed, first Holy communion at St. Martin's Church. I mean, to put a pin there, we meet, I, I meet you. Yes, your mom was a teacher. She yes. that's still a teacher. She don't want to stop teach people. Anyhow, you know, from that time not to know, I could have never believed that. I mean, from then you're ambitious, yes. Yes. But for the people you didn't know, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we are get to that for the people that will listen to it. Yes. You see me? Yeah, um, for St. Martin's, I got an essay, um, St. Catherine Academy. Um, when I left high school, I went to SJC for a short stint, and we had to make a decision as to who in the household would go to school. Wow. Um, and so I began working as an intern at the Department of Youth Services. And in 2020, fast forward, I got a scholarship to go to university um, at the University of the West Indies, and I studied. I started off, which is quite the journey as well, I started off with a sociology degree because I didn't get into the law program because of how long I was out of school, right? So they didn't think I had the rigor to do it. And I never really wanted to study law, if I'm being fair. I was just being pushed by my mentors. It's just not for me. Law, not for me. I don't think that for me. I want to know the law, obviously. I'm a policy worker, a social development worker, so I have to know the law. But I don't think I want to be a commissioner of the law in, in terms of being a lawyer and I think that for me and I think there are very many people who have the same sort of ideologies and philosophies as me who are lawyers and so I don't think that what gap that I need to fill not in the Belizean society and it's just not for me I mean the work the work the work is there 